Okay. We recently had the presidential election, and Donald Trump won the election over Kamala Harris. Well, one of the reasons, in my mind, is that people were blinded by fear, by hate, by racism, by misogyny, sexism, and most probably, they don't want a black woman as president because in some cases, they just consider black women to be irrelevant. You know, the last person they want in their minds to be over them. So, they voted for Trump overwhelmingly, particularly in rural areas, just sea of red on the maps. So, now that their head is clearing up a little bit, and the red that was in their eyes is clearing up. Reality is setting in. There's something called F around and find out. So just recently, that headline you saw at the beginning, but Trump's tariffs would probably cause Walmart price hikes, CFO says. Oh, really? Weren't you listening? Trump had almost Every rally said, I'm putting tariffs on everything. And he was mischaracterizing what tariffs are. He was saying tariffs as if the company from wherever that product is coming from is paying the tariff. If you think even logically for a minute, how is he going to make that happen? It's a different company, country, a different government. He doesn't own that company. He can't increase their prices. So the tariffs are paid after they get over here by the importer. They write big checks to the United States government. And that cost is now part of that product cost. So when they send these out to all these retail outlets where they're going to get sold to folks like us, that increased cost is passed on. So, Walmart said those tariffs will force price hikes. Now, in another article, Walmart reveals impact of Trump's tariff plan and social media is not happy. So, people start giving reactions these price hikes. I'm going to put them in the video so you can read them yourself. But let me just read a uh, few of them. Walmart. Why now? One person wrote on X, tagging the company. Why weren't you talking about this before the election? Really? Why didn't you do some research like type into Google or Bing or something, what is a tariff? It comes up really quickly. It says a tariff is a tax on foreign products. You know what happens to a tax on something that you bring in? You're going to pass it on to your customers. Unless you effed around and found out on that one, didn't you? Okay. Another one says Walmart. I'm sure Walmart's going, yeah? Why are you planning on raising prices on your products because of overseas tariffs? There's an NS tariffs plan. If you are locally sourcing Walmart brand products. Another wrote, I get other products though. Those are from companies that source from China, Vietnam, and Japan. So, are you telling me that you think just when you go down those aisles that in Walmart or other stores that have like, you know, the, the tag that says these products are from other countries, you know, you find your tortillas 
from Mexico and you find stuff from other countries, you know, Chinese food and all that. Really? Well, let me tell you something. We source a lot of food in the United States. We grow a lot of food in the United States. But guess what? A lot of the fertilizer for our crops comes from foreign countries. So there will be tariffs on the fertilizer that goes on the crops to make them grow. A lot of our fish comes from around the world. Matter of fact, the majority of it does. So guess what's going to happen to that? It's going straight up. This one really kind of got me. Have you seen all those Walmart factories making the great value stuff? Neither have I, okay? It's coming from everywhere. So, you know, that, that's, that's a little bit comical there. This one, I'm hearing that Walmart and other mega companies are raising their prices now based on what they think may happen with Trump's tariffs next year. A mother wrote on X, this is greed, not forecasting. It would take a few quarters, if not a full year, to see how tariffs affect their bottom line. Okay, um, Economics 101. You're buying product. You have current product in stock, on shelves, and in warehouses and distribution centers. As that product runs down, you're making a forecast on replacing and replenishing your stock, okay? You're making current dollars and current profit on what you have on hand, but you know you will have to replace those products and replenish with new products that will have the higher tariff cost associated with it after it hits the United States shores. And that tariff is paid to the federal government. So you're saying, I don't want to wipe out my current product when I buy the replacement products at higher prices. So you raise the price on your current product to build a buffer so that when you buy the replacement products, you didn't wipe out your current profits. That's how that works. You don't wait until they increase it and then sit there and say, I got to spend my current profits, which I made 10%, 20% less than I'm going to have to charge for these new products. But I got to buy these new products with my current and past profits. That's why they raise it as soon as they find out what the tariffs are going to be. But, word to the wise, next time, don't block somebody out when they're telling you things just because of who they are. Because you couldn't hear what Kamala Harris was saying because you were so blinded and, you know, you, you were deaf from, from rage and trying to stick it to the libs and trying to blame everything on the on the migrants coming in and, you know, getting all twisted in the head about transgender surgery, which is like, what percentage, of, how does that affect your life? This affects it every day, especially in the small towns that voted for Trump. Town I'm in is small. There are two choices if you're really going to go shop for grocery. Kroger and Walmart. That's it. Then if you go to the next town, Walmart, Kroger's maybe, maybe some other store. They're all buying from the same people. All these products will have the same type of tariffs on them. So you're not going to get away with it. You can't run from it. But let me tell you this. I'm out of something. You know what I'm out of? Man, I'm out of giving an F. You know what? See, my give an F, it's, it's empty. Use it all up. 
So, good luck with that.